Hey, and welcome to my zoo base. You can always check my Twitter feed for extra pictures and behind the scenes. Now I'm going to kind of go over how I set up my sawmills whenever I'm working on a base. I've got a lot of extra mills on this base when I destroyed it. And I usually set my Sawmax 2 to 1.2 by 1.2 instead of 1.0. And those are the straws I use. It just gives you a little extra cushion when you're chopping so you don't have to uh, fill blueprints twice. On the XL, I set that to 2.6 by 2.6. That way I get the biggest piece possible and yet it's still a square. I don't particularly like to use threes. And on this mod mill, I've also got it set to 2.6 by 2.6. Now, sometimes you're on a public server or a server with all your friends and it gets really laggy. So you can put a tiny tile inside and that will convert your mod piece into your straw a lot easier. Now, my workflow might be a little different. I usually like to have two mills set up on the edge one for big mod blocks and one for straws. And we'll go ahead and put this mod block in. You can see it hits the tile. And that just gives it a little extra time to convert if you're on a laggy server. And if you have these side by side, you can use these straw mills for the little branches that won't process in your big sawmill. Uh, another thing I do on laggy servers is sometimes I'll put down a pressure plate and attach it to a hatch. Um, again, this just gives you a little extra time it gives the wood a little extra time in the mill so I'll run wires up uh, this is a double so I've got it going to the XL and a sawmax 2 and essentially you just put in your wood and you stand on the pressure plate just long enough for it to turn blue on a laggy server that might take a second uh, but that will close the hatch and again it tends to hold the wood in just long enough to convert so it's, it's another way to overcome the, the lag. Now mod mills, I use occasionally, usually they break, but let's cover how to make one. I've got my assistant, thanks Don for helping me out making this mod mill. And mod mills are just so useful because uh, mod logs take up a lot less room of storage as opposed to a whole bunch of uh, medium sized chunks that you have to store. Now make sure you set your saw mills before you do this both mills to the same amount again mine are at 2.6 2.6 gives a nice square and the reason i do that is that there's no wrong way to put the wood in so i'm going to whitelist on and then i'll move over here and she is going to take that bottom sawmill and she's just asked me to unwhiter which I've done and now she's going to snap it back without moving it with the B button so now that sawmill has disappeared for her now I'm going to whitelist her again and she will take the top mill and put it down where the bottom mill is now again the bottom mill is missing she can't see it so you just get a friend and you can do this and now you essentially have one mill on top of another and currently this is how sawmills are working you just go in the back and you just stick a branch in and it will convert so we've converted that whole cherry tree into this mod log and again i don't trade or sell this is more about storage because i i want to use most of my base for building and not for storage and that's how i set up my sawmills hopefully you found something helpful again a big thanks to daily dose of lumber for inviting me to do a toot those toots come out every friday we'll see you again next time thanks so much